So the handlebar setup is really fundamental for comfort and actually it's really easy to make those changes and they, they do actually make a, a huge impact on comfort. You wouldn't necessarily know that until you try it. So there's two things we can do. One is by um, changing the stack height, so that's the height of the handlebars, just by removing some of those spaces or adding them in if, if some of them are already taken out. The other one you can do is change the stem for a longer stem or a shorter one. And it is really quite straightforward and something that people shouldn't be afraid of doing at home. So for changing the stack height, it's really quite straightforward, making sure that you remove the, any of the spaces uh, that are under the stem and putting them on the top. Um, and in terms of the stem length, there's plenty of options for stem length out there. And again, um, you make those changes yourself quite easily. And what I'd say is some general principles is in a kind of a flat bar bike, if you find that you're feeling like it's too far away, you're quite stretched out, I'd say that probably is an indication that the bars are too far away from you, so the reach is too, too long. And likewise, if it's too, if you're feeling too constrained, it's too close, then it might be that it's too short, in which case you want to extend it further forward. On a dropped uh, handlebar bike, there's similar kind of principles really. If you, if you feel like you don't want to be in the hood, on the hoods where all the controls are because it feels like you're too stretched out. And again, that's an indication that maybe the bars are too far away, the reach is too long. So Phil, another indication of whether you've got your bars in the right position um, is also to consider what your, your arms are, are like, their position when you're on the bars. So ideally they wouldn't be locked out when you're on the bars. There'd be a slight little bend at the elbows. So this just takes some of the tension as you're going along the road, some of the road surface um, vibrations um, and also just kind of keeps your, your shoulders nice and relaxed. What you don't want to do is be outstretched where all of those movements and vibrations are coming directly through. So you want the kind of shock absorbers. So if your arms are outstretched, um, then really you want to try and get a situation where the bars are a bit closer to you um, from that perspective as well. So we've looked at handlebar position and how that can improve your comfort on the bike. In our previous videos, we also looked at saddle position and general bike sizing. And all of these things will work together to give you a good fit on the bike. But if you have any specific issues or you want to take your fit and your performance to the next level, then the best thing to do is have a professional bike fit such as they offer here at the Boardman Performance Centre.